Hey guys, it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales and Kyla, my littlest daughter. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> She's going to help me today, I guess, with my favorite video of the week, my favorite sales on eBay last week. You have to pardon me. I'm getting kind of getting over a little bit of a cold and Kyla's got a cold and you know how that goes. One person gets it in the house, everybody's getting it. So, so pardon me if I sound a little froggy today. Um, I don't have a lot to share with you guys, but I have some big ones to share with you. So hang in there and watch till the end because I have a really big sale to share with you guys then. All right, so a couple pieces of clothing items that I sold this week. Um, this one here is by a company called South Pole. Now, it's a very popular brand, but it doesn't seem to sell well on eBay, at least not for me. But I did pick this one up because it was brand new with tags. Um, I only paid $4.54 for it, and I sold it for $18. And I did sit on it for a little while, so I took a best offer, um, but that was still a pretty nice profit. All right, I've been selling a lot of these lately. This next item here is a Tommy Bahama, and I've just bought this, just listed it. I think I only had it listed maybe a day or two before it sold. Um, but this is 100% silk, and it was a really pretty, like, Hawaiian-type design. Um, I only paid a dollar for it. Can't remember where I picked that up. Probably one of my favorite Discount Friday other <laughs> stores. Um, but I sold it for $29.99, full price, which was amazing. All right, so Tommy Bahama still sells. All right, come sit down, sweetheart. Hold okay. on the camera. All right, this is my next favorite brand. This is Brooks Brothers. Um, if you see my other videos, you'll see this is one of my favorite top brands. Um, but this is a really pretty polo shirt. It's green with a blue collar. And for some reason, this was sitting for a very long time. So I decided to do my little trick on how to get rid of my old inventory. So make sure you watch that video. Um, but I only paid $1.49 for this. And I sold it for $18.99, which was the full asking price that I had reduced it down to. So sat on it for a while, but I made a nice profit. Okay, I sold a couple of bags as well. If you saw my video last week, I sold um, the partner to this bag. This is a Wilson's team. It holds six tennis rackets. Um, last week, I sold one by a company called Babot. Bab Babart? Okay, I don't know. I can't really pronounce things very well. I don't spell well and I don't pronounce things very well. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> um, but this one's a nice one. This is Wilson, which is a very popular brand. Um, I sold this one for, I bought it for $3.45 and I sold it for $25 on a best offer. The one that I sold last week that was a team like multi-racket uh, bag, I sold for $28. So make sure you keep an eye out for these. If you get it for a good price, these are a great seller. <laughs> Funny thing is, is the buyer of this bag contacted me, wanted me to send the shipping and then when they received it uh, they said hey I got bag and I said oh I hope you like it and she said well it's a really big bag but I only have two rackets but I really love it <laughs> but at least they left me positive feedback and they liked the bag so Anyway, the next bag that I sold is this one here. It's a polo jeans Ralph Lauren purse. It was a really cute tiny purse, but it's more of a vintage style, vintage line that they sold. Um, and this I paid $4 for, and I sold it for $19.99. So I had some really pretty high sales this week, which was nice. A um, couple pair of shoes, my favorite, um, is this pair here. This is a Saucony um, ISO uh, series, which I haven't sold before, but they really caught my eye because they were a pretty blue color. Um, but these I paid $4.50 for, and I sold them for $22 and I've been sitting on those for a little while as well. Um, this was a nice sale. This is a New Balance 606 tan suede sneakers and they looked so new. They weren't. They had a little bit of wear and dirt on the bottom so I couldn't sell them as new um, but they looked in great condition. Um, I did pay $5 for these and I sold them for $26.99 so that was a great sale. All right, a couple other miscellaneous things. This here sold. I just picked this up. It's a Coach 100% leather uh, belt. I've been selling a lot of belts lately, so make sure you check your belts out. I haven't really checked belts out until recently, but obviously there's some money to be had in the belts. Um, I only paid $2 for this, and I sold it for $15 on a best offer. So, hi. Okay, keep playing. All right, this item I have a little story with too. This is a Donald Trump signature tie. It was really pretty. It was almost like a metallic red and silver with silver flecks in it. Um, and I only paid $2.59 for it. I did take a best offer. Some of these sell in the high like $70s, $80. It just depends. If you have a brand new one, they sell really well, um, especially the design. Um, but I did take a best offer of $45 on this. Well, the buyer didn't pay. So I did my normal routine, which makes sure you watch my video on how to handle unpaid items. Um, so after two days, I sent them a message. Hey, just a reminder, make sure you pay for your items so I can ship it. Um, two days went past, I opened an unpaid claim. And I kept thinking I need to go in and close my claim. It had been probably three or four days and I just kept forgetting to go in to close my claim. Um, 
Anyway, all of a sudden, Sunday night, cha-ching, the person paid for it. So I had had this thing sold for probably over a week and they hadn't paid. So, you know, do the unpaid item assistant. Maybe they sent them another reminder and they went ahead and paid for it. So money in my pocket, right? 45 bucks, that was a great sale. And then my last item here, this is a Giovanni green. It was a beautiful, ornate prom dress. Um, a friend of mine uh, asked me to see if I could sell it for her. <laughs> Originally, these retail for about $450, $460. So they're, it's a really nice dress style. Hold on, sweetheart, okay? Almost done. Um, and I ended up, kept lowering the price. I kind of started in like 350 range, but it was used. So um, I ended up selling it on a best offer for $250 this weekend. So that was great. Now, this is a really close friend of mine, so I will probably give her all of that money. Um, but look at consignment options. So if you have friends that want to sell things, um, you are doing the work. So what I typically do is a 70% to them, 30% to me after all of the fees and shipping. So make sure that is only on the profit. Um, but that way you can have another sourcing opportunity. If you're having a hard time finding things in the thrift stores, ask your friends if they have things that they want to get rid of. I'm sorry. Kyla's being really silly. It's kind of nap time. Anyway, so this is a great sale. And also if you're in the thrift stores, make sure you look at the really, really nice prom dresses because they can have some money in them. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below. What did you guys sell this week? Or if you have any questions about the brands that I have here, the items, uh, let me know. Also, make sure that you like and subscribe to the videos. That way I can keep continuing to do these. And also, you'll get notified uh, when the new videos come out. All right, guys. Until next time, happy thrifting.